What up, 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 and welcome to Be Alive with Felice every Monday morning, episode one, episode one. What's going on? What's going on? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's doing well. Now, listen up, man. If this is your first time on my page, welcome. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you would know this. You would know this about three years ago. About three years ago, uh, me and my brother Steph, we used to run this. We used to go live every single Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. And we used to just kind of just go raw, share motivation, share our story, share our journey. And, you know, what happened then, my brother moved to the States and we just kind of, uh, he was moving and, you know, just life got in the way. Um, maybe it was family, maybe it was having the, the kids. And basically, you know, uh, we stopped We stopped the show. And so, you know, for me, uh, and then I think a couple of months ago, I tried to do it again. Um, and then I just kind of stopped again. But, you know, no excuses, taking full ownership. But what, what I want to share with you guys is just like, the reason why I wanted to do this because it's it's always been something that I wanted to do, yeah? Like I, I just love, I love the challenge. And I still remember when we first started doing this, going live every single Monday morning. Um, and I know we've only got one live right now, but if you're live with me, comment 120 below, just so I know who's watching. And if you're watching the after show, if you're watching this later on, comment 100, 100%, yeah? But the reason why I wanted to do this is because it's a challenge. It's a challenge for me to be able to, you know, make sure that I wake up before 6 a.m., to make sure that I'm on point, to make sure that I'm going and I'm peaking, and then I'm doing things. But more importantly, give you guys value. Yeah. So for you guys know, I've been on this journey for a minute, for a couple of years right now. Yeah. I used to weigh over 200 kilos. I've been able to lose 70 kilos naturally. Naturally, right? No, no quick fix, no surgery, nothing like that. Purely mindset, purely applying certain principles. But what I call the real man's way. Okay. Um, but what I want to share with you, what I want to share with you this Monday morning to get you guys going, what, what I want to share with you guys this Monday morning is this, guys. Like, I regret stopping. I regret that I stopped doing this show. I regret that I, that I didn't continue going live every single Monday morning three years ago. Like, we started, I started doing this three years ago and I stopped. I stopped. And, I'm li and, and every day since then, I've been living in regret. I've been regretting not doing it. I've been regretting not continuing. I've been regretting not staying consistent. And so I feel bad. I feel bad because I'm the, the, this is how I think. This is how I've be, become to think. I sound fresh here. This is, the, this is how I've learned to think to be able to get more out of me, right? Um, I asked myself this question this morning and I was writing some notes down on my book or a little pad here, and I, and I said to myself, like, what is the consequence of me not taking action? Because I, because I stopped doing these live shows three months ago or one year ago or two years ago, what is the consequences of me not continuing? What are the consequences of me giving up? What are the consequences of me stopping? And I started to number it off. First of all, living in regret. Constantly living regret. I'm that kind of guy where, like, I, I, I'm always, I'm always asking myself. I'm always having this accountability with myself, and I'm saying, Felice, what, like, what should have you done today? What, what do you need to do today? And let's be real, man. I'm always comparing myself to others. So when I'm looking at other people doing what they're doing, I'm like, man, he done, he done it the same time as me three years ago. But look at him, he's still doing it. Look at her, she's still doing it. And then I say to myself, Felice, why did you stop? Why did you give up? Why didn't you keep pushing forward? And let me be real with you. I start to feel shitty about myself. I'm like, Felice, why did you stop doing it? Because life, because excuses, because of my children, because of my wife, because of church, because of my business, because of my career, because of the gym. And so one of the things that I hate to live Maybe because I'm getting a bit older. I'm not, not that I'm old. Or maybe I think I am. Like I'm turning 30 years old next year. Next year on March, I turn 30. I turn 30 years old. And I'm thinking to myself, Felice, come on, man. Like, ah, like you should be so much ahead right now. Like you should be so much ahead right now. Like let me be real with you. Like you should be impacting more people out there. You should be on a, on a on a stage right now, sharing your journey. You should be coaching hundreds of, of men right now. 
I'm always saying it. I'm always living with regret on this. And so coming back to the question, like what is the consequences of you not taking action? Let me be more specific. Some of you guys are on their weight loss journey, yeah? Some of you guys are trying to lose weight like me, yeah? And you've been telling yourself like me or like how I used to be before that you should have started at the start of this year. Russ, we're going into 2020. It's November 2019 right now. We're literally going into 2020. Some of you guys, some of you girls and you guys said at the start of this year that what? That you're going to lose the weight, yeah? That you're going to change your life. That you're going to live this. So this is your goal. This is your goal. You started to number it off. I want to lose 50 kilos. I want to lose 100 kilos. I want to lose 20 kilos. I want to make this much money. I want to be able to get a better job. Something like that, right? Along those scales. Yet we, we're coming towards the end of 2019. And the question that I want to come to you is like, what are the consequences of you not taking action at the start of this year? That dream, that, that thought that you had, that thing that you wrote down on the piece of paper one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, what are the consequences of you not taking action? Maybe some of you guys are like me, living regret right now. You're in regret right now, you're like, wow. Man, if I did it, I would have been so ahead right now. If I did it, I would have been like this. If I did it, I would have been like this. That's the number one. Number two, unfulfilled. Like, you're not feeling fulfilled. Let me be real with you guys. Like, I'm coaching men right now. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. You know, I'm getting better at Facebook ads. I'm getting better at doing my Instagram ads, YouTube. I'm, 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 I'm becoming more better. I'm becoming more disciplined. I'm becoming more disciplined. Like, for, let me be real with you guys. Like, like I, I have a goal right now. I share this with the guys that I coach. I literally... My goal right now, every single day, is to wake up at 3 a.m. It's been a goal for, for mine for the last one month. And guess what? I've failed so many times. I've slept in. I've like yesterday I should have woke up at 3 a.m. I woke up at like 7. This morning, I woke up at 3 a.m. But I do this, I do this for you guys, but I do this more for myself. I do this to challenge me. As an individual, if I want to live to my full potential, if I want to be able to get more done, like, let me be real with you guys. I've got kids. I've got children right now. Like, my kids are probably going to be waking up soon within the next one, two hours. So for me, I'm like, you know what, Felice, if you want to get more done, you have to wake up earlier. That's it. If I can wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, and if I can work on my business, if I can work on the guys that I'm coaching, and I can work from about 3.30 to about 7 o'clock to about 8 o'clock, by the time my kids get up, I can be the father and I can be the husband. You know what I'm saying? So feeling fulfilled and then growth. Like, are you growing? Are you growing, guys? Let me be real. Let me ask you that question. Like, within the last one year, shopping, facts, double, 100%. Facts is key, right? Facts is number one, okay? So look, let me be real with you guys. If you guys are live with me, comment 120 below. Comment 120 below so I know who you are. And if you want, let me know where you're from, where you're listening from, okay? But ultimately, coming back to it, guys, coming back to it, coming back to it, coming back to it. I'm living in, I, I've, I've been regretting stopping. I've been feeling unfulfilled. I feel like I haven't grown literally just because I've stopped doing my live videos on Monday. And so I made it a challenge. I made it a commitment. I've gone back to the drawing board. I've asked myself this question. I told my wife, right? And I told her, like, babe, I need to do this. It's not really, it's not really for, for it's not really just to share my journey. It's not just really to um, to inspire you guys, but it's to, to challenge myself. And along that journey of challenging me and me growing and me becoming more disciplined, I hope to inspire you also. Yeah? So, like, th those are the thoughts that are coming to my mind. Those are the thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys uh, right now. Uh, Lewis, you come from Mangry, New Zealand. Much love, bro. Much love, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you listening, brother. I think it's about eight o'clock here in New, uh, eight o'clock over there in New Zealand. So you guys are two hours ahead of us. But but coming back to what I was sharing with you guys, coming back to what I was sharing with you guys, like what is the consequence of you not taking action? Literally, because you didn't go all in, because you stopped. What is the excuse? What is the story? What is the belief system? What is, what's holding you back? What has been holding you back? Now, many, many years coming back to my journey, I'm, I'm always getting, I'm, I always feel like my story always comes back to my journey. 
my journey of being overweight, my journey of being obese. Like one of the biggest reasons why I didn't lose the weight that I stopped in the journey is because I didn't see the result. True? Like a lot of us, we, we, you know, if you want to lose the weight, you want to see the result instantly. And what I've come to learn is that, you know, the result will look after itself if you just do what you need to do now. Let, let me say it again. Let me say it again. In my journey in losing weight, losing up to 70 kilos within a period of two years, two to three years, one of the biggest lessons that I've learned, right, is to be able to divorce the result. Very, very cliche saying that people say, but it's so true. To literally put the result at the end of it, right, and just be like, what do I need to do today to get me a lot more closer to where I want to be? What do I need to do today to get me a lot more closer to where I want to be? So I'm saying this to myself, all right, how many weeks in a year, Felice? How many weeks in a year? Like 52 weeks. So I said to myself, well, Felice, if you go live every single Monday morning and share with everyone your journey, that's 52 weeks. That's 52 videos that you're posting out. That's 52 videos of value that you're sharing with someone. And ultimately, out of those 52 videos, there might be one, one guy. There might be one man out there that's resonated with my message, that's looking at my journey. It's like, well, Felice did it. Felice lost the weight. Felice literally lost 70 kilos naturally. He's done it. What did he do? Wow, he, he's just like me. He's struggling just like me. He likes eating this. He, he, he struggles with binge eating. He struggles with emotional eating. He didn't have discipline. But look at him now. He's doing it. What would it take for me to be able to be like that? Imagine if I applied what Felice applied to his journey, where would I be in my life? How much more different would my life look like? So coming back to it, guys, coming back to it, if, you, if you're live with me, comment 120 below. Let me know that you're live. But more importantly, let me know where you guys are listening from. I'm, 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 I'm interested. And if you're watching the after show, comment, if you're watching the after show, comment 100% because you're not 120 Right. If you're if you're not if you're not awake at this time, then mate, you're, you're going 100. percent If you're if you're if you're like me and you're striving, you're striving, then you you're going 120. That's that's the saying that I tell myself. But ultimately, coming back to, it, I just want to wrap this up. I just want to wrap this up. Look, guys. Ultimately, the 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 reason why I did this video is because I want you guys to understand this one question: What is the consequence of you not taking action on whatever you wanted to do? Maybe you wanted to get that extra job. Maybe you wanted to lose that job and get this job. Maybe you want to start a movement. Maybe you want to do what I'm doing. Maybe you want to inspire people just like me. Maybe you wanted to create a YouTube channel. Maybe you wanted to share a message. Maybe you have a message very similar to my message about being overweight, being obese, being depressed. You have a story, but yet you haven't done anything about it. Maybe you wanted to lose the weight. Maybe you want to make more money. Ultimately, what is the consequence of you not taking action? To be real with you guys, I don't know why I stopped. I stopped because I got lazy. I stopped because I started telling myself these different stories. Not that it takes long. It's only like 15 to 20 minutes every single morning on Monday. So it's not really time consuming. Yet I'm giving value to you guys, right? So coming back to it, much love to Lewis, uh, Mangane, New Zealand. Much love, Shopee, Brisbane. 100% bro, Brisbane, man. How's the weather over there? The weather's good, brother. Um, Casey Keppel, Gips, what's going on, brothers? You know, I named my son after you, <laughs> but yeah, much love to you all. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic uh morning. Hope you guys have a fantastic week, right? And ultimately, if you have any questions, comment below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Appreciate it. Keep it 120, baby.